Well, Mr. Peter Dench, right? Is that how you say it? <laughs> No relation to the actress Dame Judy. You know, that, that, I guess everybody thinks that, but uh, I did immediately when I was watching your video and you say, you're Peter Dad, you're sitting on the, uh, uh, on the beach there, uh, which is great. And, and I told you this earlier, and I hate to say it again, but I just think the images you do as a photographer, uh, uh, people's average life j just seems to honor everyone's existence you know, on this planet, somehow making everyone's average little thing doing seem just so special. And it makes you feel, I, I think at least me, it makes me feel more real about life. I feel more comfortable in life when I see that because I see other people just schlepping through life like I do, but you honor that, you know? It, <laughs> and, but what you really done to me, mind, is take that and went online and raised what seventeen thousand bucks <laughs> to make a book yeah. on it. That's terrific. Thank you. Thank you. But it, it was um, it was because people got involved. They got behind the project. They engaged with it. They believed in it. And you know, without that help, um, then the book wouldn't exist. So You're thanking all the little people now. Is that what? You're... Not at all. I mean, um, whether someone donated $25 or $2,000, I, I treated it as, as a donation, regardless of the value. So, um, yeah, whether it was an old school friend or, or a businessman, um, you know, it was, it was equally valid. Yeah. There, there are no little people out there. There are. <laughs> but, but, but I mean, every one, whether it's twenty-five dollars in my mind, I mean, they're just as important to making that happen, you know, as the bigger person. Instead of going to a publisher who's writing one big check, you got to make sure you got, you know, dozens and hundreds of people doing this. So each one is important. And it, it gathers momentum as well. I mean, yeah. um, when when the the, the crowdfunding started. I treated it as a as a full time job. Um, uh -huh. the, the the platform, the emphasis platform that was that's hosting the fundraising. You have sixty days to raise. Sixty your... days, so it's beat the clock. Huh? It's like... and, and I, I didn't. I genuinely didn't know whether sixty days was too much time or not enough time. So I was petrified. So I made sure that for the <laughs> weeks at least that I sat down and and dedicated myself to that that process. And I think people are naive if they put their project on a crowdfunding site and just let it sit there and what hope. You mean, you mean I have to work and do this too? <laughs> you've, got, you've got to offer something for the people out there to put, it's a, it takes an effort to, for someone to actually put their hand in their pocket and the pay button, you know, it's okay to pick something, but to, think, to By think. your name alone, everyone didn't flock and just buy it, huh? Yeah, exactly. I mean, I've, I've seen photographers um, expect then they generate a certain amount of money and that hasn't happened. So, um, you know, you have to be a bit more proactive, I think. Uh, now, did, now, did you take the project to try to find traditional publishers at all first or not? Um, my knowledge of the, the book publishing world, the traditional book publishing world, was, was very limited. Um, I did have one in and I presented the book project to them and they ummed and ahed about it for six or seven months. Wow! <laughs> yeah, and there was a, there was a you know, last year in England, um, there was the, there was a, the royal wedding, oh, yeah. uh, there was the Olympics. Wasn't that this year? <laughs> or it was the Jubilee, yeah. I mean, there's so much pageantry here. I, I get it. But last year was a particularly big year for I see. British pageantry. So it was important for me to have the book ready uh, ah. for when that when that happened and crowdfunding i mean from from when the the go button was pressed to raise the money to having the book in my hand was about a three month process really? so in three months how long did it take to get the site up um yeah that takes a you've got to be a bit prepared but um you know the video that you mentioned they say there's no appeal like a video appeal so <laughs> that has to be quite professional i suppose or or you've got to know your audience and you don't just sit there and go right. <laughs> so i knew who would invest or who would back the project and i wanted to be true mm -hmm. to the, you know to the to the images and you know as you as you've seen there's some humor in that um so i think i think the website took uh, once once you've done the video and you've decided on the rewards or the incentives 
um, for people to sort of, you know, with the different price ranges, then you know, it, it's, a, it's a small amount of time. I think you, if you dedicated yourself to it, you could, you could prepare your funding page in a couple of weeks. Oh, really? Huh? Just on, but I mean, uh, uh, and you're up there and in six and uh, 90 days you have money and you're out publishing your book already, huh? Yeah. Yeah. That's, 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 that's but the more drive. Importantly, I see you were so wrong about setting up your page, you know, because you said you would get $12,000 and you're a dumb Brit and got $17,000 instead. Huh? <laughs> I mean, they, emphasis they say like um you know if you want to you you are supposed to give them the the book dummy you know so that you say this is the book i want I and they look at it and they go okay it's 144 pages it's this size so in order to print a thousand books we need to raise twelve thousand dollars so that's how the figures decide that. but then if you go over that figure all it means is people are pre-ordering the book ah. so out out of so I had a thousand books printed, um, you know, and, and 400 or so were, were pre already pre booked, wow. you know, so it's, it's so that it's not it's money, didn't go, money didn't go in my pocket. The extra five, <laughs> five half thousand dollars wasn't, you know, profit. It just uh, it's just yeah. more people have pre ordered the book, yeah. which is flattering. Yeah, oh, that's why you're doing it. <laughs> yeah. it's, and and you know, the, the, the thrill of crowdfunding is you you see an immediate response so if you have a, a, a I had a post on the CNN website and really? uh, wow. immediately see um, if the funding's increased and then you have it on the BBC and you can see that eight hundred dollars were pledged within really? hours of it going live so you can see what's working and what isn't so. <laughs> oh and that instant gratification so how did you get uh, you know a plug on the bbc and, and and cnn uh you kind of i suppose you you have your date in mind when the the funding page is going to go live uh -huh. so you do a bit of preparation you you, so you gotta do homework yeah, yeah you get people on board you get a team around you to you know, you don't want to be there on day one and see <laughs> no. the, the yeah, going, right, who do I call? What do I do? You yeah. want to have a, uh, I, I had a hashtag and it was help Dench. And I think a, a large percentage of, of the funding was driven through Twitter, which I'm a big fan of. No so, kidding, huh? uh, and everyone who um, donated a, you know, a sum of money or backed the project, I would try and reward if that's the right word, with a personalized tweet within minutes of, of their pledge. Oh, so, it, huh. so it kind of showed that I'd found out who they are, uh -huh. what they're doing, you know, what they're interested in. And then, you know, so there's a diet, there's an engagement. Uh -huh. you know, it's, it's a two way process, uh -huh. I think. Um, so you really have to find out about all your your audience, I guess, is really what it, what it is. And, and you're being as close as possible to the people that are helping you. And I guess that really shows your appreciation much more than anything. Taking but, the but having said that, people who I'd bent over backwards to help recently uh -huh. uh, didn't put their hand in their pocket. Uh -huh. But school <laughs> friends I hadn't seen for 27 years suddenly took an interest. So you can't, you, you can't rely on, like, John from right. down the road for $50 <laughs> school, or <laughs> you, can't, you can't tot it all up in your head you, there there were some surprises along the way which um like you know, old yeah. girlfriends come in and say i didn't know you were that talented or <laughs> yes <laughs> <laughs> i would have hung in there with you <laughs> there are a few kind of like uh, the boys done good uh, right. donations or, or pledges or right. you know, just so, uh, right well you're a delightful person peter and the book is right now what's the best place to get the book now um on your website peterdench.com no i mean it's available through the emphasis website oh, emphasis the, okay so it's still for sale on there you can still hook on there right uh, and there's there's some in stores across the <laughs> All over London, right? <laughs> and in every taxi cab, you get it. <laughs> well, I just want to reiterate to people that, that the, the, the photographs of life, you know, the average person life in, in, in London or, or, or England, that it just is heartwarming. It, it makes me feel more alive as a person 
somehow, and I can't explain why, just looking at those photographs. I mean, it's not like a movie that entertains you or something. This feels closer to me than any spectacular bomb blowing up or something like that, that you make me feel more about life somehow. I don't know how you do that, Peter, but I'm, I'm thankful that you're here doing that and keep doing that work, okay? <laughs> Thank you very much. Take care.